So this is us now launching in La Playa. La Playa means the beach. Hey, I'm going to swim now. I cannot let you the turquoise uh, water. Good morning. We are leaving for Cuba today for one week. This is time we're going to uh, Cayo Coco. We just arrived at the park and fly uh, parking area. Hopefully we can have the uh, shuttle bus going to the airport now and catch our flight at uh, 6.15. So we're just waiting for our boarding time. We are already at the gate uh, and ready to fly again. Eating egg and bagel at like five o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Thank you for waiting, ladies and gentlemen. Continuing with the general boarding to those passengers traveling with some wind flight number 600, which are reached by the local Cuba. At this time, we would like to welcome those passengers sitting into rows 11, 11 all the way down to row 32, to please come forward to the gate at seat 34. Ladies and gentlemen, please make sure you have your own passport open on the photo page along with the boarding card. So, Emma? Yes. Okay, next one. And Benjamin. Your own alcohol is strictly forbidden. You can leave without danger. If you leave here, please take all your just arrived in Cayo Coco and we are exiting at the back of the plane. We just got out of the airport, cleared the customs and the immigrations. There was no problem, no question asked. Now we are inside the bus to bring us to uh, the hotel. Well, be welcome to Cuba and uh, to our tourist destination in Cuba, Jardines del Rey. That's the name of this beautiful place. Well, my name is uh, Danny, Danny Boy for all of you, okay? I'll be your tour guide to the hotels Playa Paraiso and Memories Flamenco, okay? Yeah. The bus driver. So his name is Miguel Angel. <laughs> Miguel Angel is the best uh, driver we have in this bus today, okay? The only one. So here in front of the bus, you can see the map of Cuba. As you can see, Cuba looks like an alligator. Cuba is divided into 15 provinces and 168 municipalities. And you are right now in the very center of Cuba. So you are right now in Cayo Coco. Okay. <laughs> it's a record. <laughs> All right, we arrived in Memories of Flamingo. This will be our home for one week. <laughs> Okay. 
Okay. You're going to where? Restaurant? Maybe it's here, restaurant. So I think this is the way going to... Uh, the swimming pool. Swimming pool and then the restaurant or snack bar. So at last... Nandito na kami sa aming uh, room. So this is our room. One king bed and a twin bed over there. And we have a balcony. Here we go. We can have our coffee here in the morning. And we have our sofa. It's nice. And there's a refrigerator here. There you go. And we have a spacious bathroom. Building, building number five.
This is lunchtime at the buffet. It's crowded. It's so busy. The busiest part is the uh, grill and uh, the uh, meat or the fish. So this is how big the uh, uh, buffet restaurant is. And I'm going to uh, be seated in this area. So I got my fish, I got my chicken, my paella, and my dessert is again papaya. This is the uh, bread section, freshly baked bread. Daily section. The dessert area again. That's our uh, dinner tonight. Big lobster salad area. And this is uh, a Main course. Amigo, hola. This is the uh, fruit section. We are again uh, having another walk along the beach. This is the edge of the um, island and it's now sunrise about uh, 7 15 in the morning and that's the uh, background of the uh, resort the uh, memories flamengo resort beautiful Come on, go! Oh, poor guy. He wants to be fed. Yeah, I think he's so hungry.
Low tide. We call it Lilo. Lili Tau Lulubo. <laughs> Na island. In the morning, it's high tide, so you cannot see this island. PCR test today, yeah. Wednesday, three days before our flight. We are in this room. I think the uh, Salon Polyvalente. And uh, we're going inside the room to have our uh, individual PCR test. And then we'll go and pay the fees of $30 US each in the reception again tomorrow. And then uh, get the results at about uh, 8 o'clock in the evening. So we are about to leave the, the hotel resort now going to the airport. The bus will come and pick us up uh, in a few minutes. Uh, this is the uh, reception area. A lot of people. There were two bus loads of uh, new tourists and also some people leaving today. And this is the car that will pick us up going to the airport. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> so this place is really crowded. As you see, uh, new tourists and also tourists coming home. And these are the luggages for, for pick up going to the airport. And this is the pensioner, so tired, but happy and sleepy because we woke up early this morning. Yeah, this is the duty-free area. People are shopping in the last minute. We are now boarding our plane, going to Toronto. Our holiday is gone. Time to go back to the cold. We are in Cuba, so that's why there's no tube in going into that airplane. This is how it goes. Yeah. Yeah. Believe me, I can hear it. It's going to subway now. There's the pilot and the co-pilot ready to go. Now we are entering the plane. Please, 
the by the cabin crew. In order to ensure, ensure full compliance with the mandate from Transport Canada, our cabin crew will be conducting regular checks throughout the flight to ensure passengers are wearing their masks. We remind you of the importance of your corporation and the right to safe and secure travel for everyone throughout the flight. It's been snowing. I think it's Toronto. Before ending this video, I'd like to share a few things. When traveling, always stay safe and healthy. Follow the guidelines, wear your mask, wash your hands regularly, observe social distancing. Always bring with you a copy of your vaccination passport showing your two doses. And also do the PCR test three days before arriving in Canada showing a negative result. And most importantly, uh, to fill up the ArriveCan app to complete your um, information about your vaccination and also your negative test result from the country of origin, as this will be required upon entering your home country. Upon arrival in Canada, you can be picked randomly to have a PCR test on site. If your passport bears a green sticker, that means you're good to go home. But if your passport bears a pink sticker, that means you have to go and take the PCR test on site. But don't worry, that's not the end of the world. Within 72 hours, you'll get an email from Swiss Health regarding the result of your PCR test. I was told to uh, self-quarantine at home while waiting for the result just to be safe. If you find this video helpful, please don't forget to comment, like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for our future blogs. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye for now.